So when you're adding or subtracting fractions, um, what you need to do is turn both fractions into the same type of fraction, right? So in other words, they both need to have the same bottom or the same denominator, right? So what we need to do is find the lowest common multiple of these two numbers, these two denominators, right? So one way is to, to write out the multiples of 12 and then the multiples of 16. So multiples of 12, write them down, 12, 24, 36, 48, right, 60, and so on. And then for 16, we have 16, then 32, and then what? 48, and then 64, and so on. So what we can see is, can we see a lowest common multiple now? So you've got 48 in each uh, as a lowest common multiple, right? So we can put 48 down here, right? And we think, what do I multiply 16 by to get 48? So 16 times what gives 48? It is 1, 2, 3, right? 3 sixteenths gives 48. So I can multiply 9 sixteenths by 3 over 3. 3 times 9 is 27. So the 9 sixteenths becomes 27 48ths. And that's the same type of fraction. Right? And um, 7 twelfths becomes what? 12 times what gives 48? 12 times 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So multiply 7 twelfths by 4 over 4 to get 28 over 48. So we have 27 48s plus 28 48s, and that is 55 over 48, right? And let's write that as a mixed number for fun. 48 and the 55 goes one time, remainder, remainder 7. So 1 and 7 48s, right? Or 55 over 48. Improper fraction, mixed number. And it doesn't simplify any further. 7 does not go into 48, right?